Hey Virgo, welcome to Earth Fail. I'm Kat and I'm going to do your May 2021 reading. Okay, this is just an overall reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. Okay, so remember on just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Okay, and I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, so um, I'm going to get one of these um, overall. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> Overall energy for Virgo, okay, for the month of May 2021, Holy Spirit, Archangels, and guys, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Ascending Masters. Yes, I love you guys, thank you. What we have for Virgo, overall energy. Okay, Virgo, first I'm going to start off. When I was meditating on your, um, your sign, okay, this is Virgo, um, anywhere in your chart, okay, I, I'm getting that something is going to be made clear to you, okay? Something is going to be made very clear to you. You are going to see something, okay? Now, this could be the universe coming in, spirit coming in and showing this to you, or you are physically going to see something with your own eyes, okay? That is going to make something very clear, okay? You're going to get clarity on this. You're going to get truth, and you're going to get clarity on this, okay? I'm also getting that some of you guys need to, to rest, y'all need to uh, rejuvenate, y'all need to uh, the rest, you know, relax, take care of your, your physical self, your physical body, okay? And also uh, mental, emotionally, take some time out, meditate, yoga, do whatever it is that feels good to you, okay? It feels good to your body, okay? Um, so yeah, so that is what I'm getting. I'm getting, um, Indigo, okay, indigo, 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 third eye, third eye, third eye chakra, you could be doing some um, third eye cleansing, or you could see something through your third eye, okay, spirit could definitely show you something through your third eye or through meditation, okay, but something is definitely going to be made clear to you in the month of May, you're going to see something very clear, and remember, once you see, you cannot unsee. That is the truth. Okay, so we can overall energy for our guy May 2021. Okay, our guy, my virgins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. okay, Virgo. Yes. Okay, compatibility. Oh, look at this. That is so cute. <laughs> Aw, compatibility. Okay. So, you could be coming into union with someone. You could um, get clarity on how you feel about someone. That you're compatible. Okay. A good partnership here. It doesn't have to be love. It can be you know, a partnership in a project, school. Uh, I don't know anything. Compatibility. You're just compatible. Um, learning, you know, one another, seeing if you guys are compatible, right? Yeah, maybe you're getting clarity on if you are compatible or not, or having the, you know, seeing it. You are definitely going to see in the month of May. You're going to see. All right, what else, Spirit? What do we have for her day? May 2021, first. Yes. Okay. All right, Spirit, really, what are you trying to do, too? Okay. All right, moving forward, progress, success, determination. Love it. I just like this card. I like this card anyway. It's really cool. All right. And then we have ups and downs, changes for the best. Wow, so I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling like there's success here. I'm feeling like there is um, determination. You, you know, you guys are just going to move forward, push forward, you know, and have progress. And what, whatever you're seeking out to do, you know, you might have had some ups and downs when it, when it came to this. And, um, but, you know, I feel like all that is going to change. And it's, you know, it says right here, it's going to, it's felt, it's felt like a roller coaster, right? 
a roller coaster ride. Ups and downs, ups and downs, around and around and around. But at, you know, if you can see that, okay, it's probably backwards anyway, but changes for the best, right? And look, success and determination. So whatever you've had determination in, in the month of May, you're going to see success for that. Okay, I'm also seeing compatibility with someone. Remember to take care of your, your physical vessel and your mental health as well. Okay, and you're also going to get clarity. You're definitely going to get clarity on something or someone. Okay, all right, Virgo. What else do we have, Spirit, for Virgo? This is clarity on. Let's see what that is. This is clear the was quick. Third party situation perhaps doesn't have to be in a third party situation can be anything that is interfering with your relationship and that can be work, it could be you know, anything, anything else, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It's just an interference in a relationship, okay? So you are going to get clarity on a third party situation. Yes, you're going to get clarity. And truth when it comes to this heartache. Yeah. The sun is in reverse. So I feel like right now you don't have clarity. And there's no happiness here. And there's no clarity here. But I feel like in the month of May, you're going to get that clarity that you want, Virgo. Yes. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to think. You're taking your time out. You're thinking. thinking about a lot. Perhaps maybe, Virgo, you feel like someone that you're in a connection with is in a third party situation or maybe they are they are unfaithful and, and you want clarity on it and you don't have that. I bet you will. You will get clarity on that. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Discs. So, this is someone, this is your energy, Virgo, that is very nurturing, loving, mothering, all that. You know, mother, father, it doesn't matter. They're just very nurturing. And, um, yeah, and there's something here. You want a, a reconciliation. Somebody here wants to reconcile with you because they have a lot of love for you. It could be someone new or someone fairly new in your life. Or this could just be a new beginning in a love relationship. Okay? Yeah. That involves a home life, stability, home, children, things of that nature. And there is definitely love here, a new beginning in that, and reconciling. And, and then we have the three here, too. So this definitely could be a third-party situation or someone trying to interfere in your relationship. Okay, someone here can also find out that they are expecting. It doesn't have to be. But they could just be um, giving birth to a new idea, a new thought, a new way of thinking. Because someone here is definitely thinking. Okay, and they're just unclear at this, at this stage. They're unclear, but you will be made clear. You will. And this could bring some some heartache. This could bring some pain. And leave you very much in your head, Virgo. But there's movement forward here. There's progress. Look. There's nurturing. There's love. There's caring. Yes. Reconciliation again. Coming together. There's um, calls to celebrate, right? Could be getting an invitation to somewhere. 
new beginnings. I'm hearing new beginnings after pain, after heartache, after confusion, after an in interference, really, of some sort. It could be a person, it could be a place, it could be anything that's getting in the way of whomever you are connected with. There's something that's getting in the way or somebody. Okay, but there is progress here. There is success here. There's termination. This is something that's been up, up and down, a roller coaster ride, really. And you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to get clarity on it in the month of May. You most definitely are. All right, what else for Virgo? Yeah, manifestation. This is something that you have. You, you are observing Virgo at this time. You're taking the time on it. Like you're just holding it up, male or female, and you're observing. You're really analyzing it. And not, not wanting to make a decision at this time. Not, um, not really listening to your higher self, perhaps. Not wanting to make a decision, not wanting to repeat anything, okay? Yeah, avoiding the tower, tower reverse. Either you, Virgo, or someone you're dealing with, they don't want a tower moment. They don't, they're avoiding the tower moment. They're like dodging the bullet, so to speak. They're observing and, and watching and waiting and just, you know, taking in all the details and, and taking their time slow and steady with the race, right? And they, they don't want the tower moment, okay? I feel like in the month of May, the tower moment will be avoided because someone's going to see someone's going to see something clearly. Yeah, no longer being defensive, no longer defending or have, feeling the need to defend yourself. No longer, no longer just giving your love away. This cup, this cup is empty. So once you see, you can't unsee. There's no love in the situation, perhaps. Maybe you're in this connection and, and you find out that this person may be unfaithful. And there's just no reason to... I mean, once you see, you, you can't unsee, right? Because there's no love in this situation. I'm hearing there's no love. No emotional satisfaction. There's no emotion here. There's no emotion for a guy. Yeah, this is going to happen. Some, this, some communication is going to come in quick. You could be talking to someone online. You could be, um, you know, just fast communication coming in or something happening really fast, Virgo, in the month of May. You know, you could get your clarity rather quickly, unexpectedly, just very you know, quick. You know, it could come in a, in a message form or through a text or you could be seeing someone's text or, or whatever, reverse rules if you have to. But, you know, you're going to see clearly. But after you see... After you gain this truth, there's moving, I mean, there's movement forward, there's success, there's progress, progression, there's determination, you know, there's changes, and remember, it changes for the best, changes for the best. What is this communication about? What is this communication about for a bird guy? The five of wands in reverse. Someone no longer having any inner conflict, outer conflict, nobody wanting to deal with that, no more competition. There's no more competition. You know, someone's taking you, Virgo, or someone that you're dealing with, they're taking their self out of the game. They don't want to play the game anymore. They're done. You know, they're, they're, there's no more tripping over their own feet. 
they're, they're coming in with, you know, quick, passionate communication, like I'm passionate about this, like I don't, I, I don't want this inner conflict, I don't want the outer conflict, I don't want this conflict at all, I'm tired of the ups and downs, I want change, I want to move forward, I want progression, I want success, yes Virgo, that's what I'm feeling, standing in your power and knowing your worth, okay, I don't want a third party situation anymore, I don't want to be put in a third party situation, I don't want a third party, I don't want nothing to be come above me without reason, right? I want, you know, our relationship should be just as important. Yes, the Prince of Cups. Could be dealing with a younger water sign. We don't have to be. This is someone giving their love. This is someone coming in with emotions. Someone coming in with love. Okay? Yeah. Coming out of the cold. You could have been ghosted by this person. This person could have ghosted you before. Okay? This is no more. No more feeling left out. No longer feeling a lack thereof. No longer feeling left out in the cold. You know, someone's coming in. They're going to offer their love. They're saying, I don't have any more conflict. I, I'm, not, I'm not struggling with myself anymore on the inside. I don't want to deal with the people on the outside. I want to follow what I know. I see clearly now, Virgo. You're going to see clear, or they are. I see clearly I want to move forward. I want to have success. You know, we are compatible. You know, I'm learning this about you, and you're learning this about me, and, and you know, we're, we're compatible. You know, it's, it has been a roller coaster ride, but I'm ready, you know, and these changes are for the best. Once you see, you can't unsee. You can't. Someone's coming out of hermit mode. They're coming out of their self-reflection, gaining their knowledge, their spiritual knowledge, what, what have you. Okay, being in isolation, keeping to themselves, they're done with that. It, they're coming out, you know. They're coming out, they're letting it be known. This is you, Virgo, or someone that you're dealing with. And it's going to come in quick. Yes, it's going to come in quick. Seven of Cups here. You know, options and decisions. Um, yes. Because so someone here is, is no longer keeping to themselves. Make a wish for a guy. Wanting the will to turn in their favor. And the will's going to turn in your favor for a guy. So, what is unclear to you now? We're going into May is going to become clear. It is. You're going to see something or someone for who it is. There is a love offer coming in or an apology, okay, for someone that, that really is truly sorry, that really does have emotion for you, that really does have love, okay. There is um, a tower moment that is being avoided. And I feel like it's because no no one's wanting to fight anymore, okay? I do feel like, you know, people are coming together that are compatible. I do feel like you need to, to rest and uh, be very discerning when it comes to your energy and who you're giving your energy to. And I do, you know, I feel like you're just going to have your clarity. You're going to get your truth. You're going you're gonna to see. And this is either, like I said, you're going to physically see this for yourself. Or spirit is going to show it to you. It could be in a dream. It could be in your third eye. Okay? Because I was here in indigo, and that's the color. Third eye chakra. Okay? And I'm, okay, spirit. Heart chakra. I'm hearing that as well. So, remember, follow your heart, but take your mind with you. Okay? Um, and I just feel like, you, you know, that you're defenses are going to come down, your guard is going to come down, you're going to see the truth, you're going to see the truth, whatever truth you are seeking, you're going to see, you're going to see, no longer, you know, someone's no longer going to have that, that inner conflict anymore, you're not Virgo, about what it is that they should do, shouldn't do, or worried about what other people are going to say, or what other people are going to think. You're just, you know, you're going to follow, you know, your heart. You're going to follow your intuition. You're going to go, once you see, 
I mean, like I said, you can't unsee. You can't unsee this. However you want to take it. Okay? So, feel like, yeah, it changes. Changes for the best, though. So. Virgo, remember that. You're strong. And compatibility, I mean, so there is someone here that you're connected with that is compatible. And, you know, someone here that you've possibly had ups and downs with, okay, but there's, there's going to be change here for the best. And that you're going to move forward. And there's going to be progress and success. Just stay um, determined, okay? All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.